Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Discussion of the limitations of Newtonian mechanics in modern physics. Answer. Newtonian mechanics, also known as classical mechanics, was developed by Sir Isaac Newton in the 17th century. It laid the groundwork for our understanding of physical phenomena and has been used extensively to understand and predict the behavior of objects at everyday speeds and sizes. However, as we began to explore realms that are very small like atoms or move very fast close to the speed of light, it became clear that Newtonian mechanics had its limitations. 1. Limitations at high speeds One of the primary limitations is when dealing with objects moving at high speeds close to the speed of light. According to Newton's laws, velocities simply add up. If a car moving at 60 miles per hour throws a ball forward at 20 miles per hour, an observer standing still would see the ball moving at 80 miles per hour. However, when we approach light speeds, this doesn't hold true anymore. Einstein's theory of special relativity shows that as an object moves faster, its time appears to slow down relative to a stationary observer. This is known as time dilation. Also, according to Einstein's theory, no matter how fast you're going, if you measure the speed of light, it will always be constant, which defies basic logic from a classical physics perspective. 2. Limitations on small scales When dealing with very small particles like electrons or protons, i.e., on quantum scales, Newtonian mechanics again fails us. Quantum mechanics tells us these particles don't just exist in one place at one time, but rather exist in a haze of probability. They could be here, or there, or many places simultaneously, which is totally counterintuitive from a classical perspective where every object exists uniquely in space and time. 3. Gravitational Limitations Newton's law states that every particle attracts every other particle with force directly proportional to their masses and inversely proportional squared distance between them. This force acts a long line joining two particles. However, this doesn't explain how gravity can act through empty space without a medium. Einstein's general theory of relativity improved upon this by explaining that gravity isn't just a force between two objects, but is actually the result of the object's mass warping the space around it. The classic example is placing a heavy ball on a stretched sheet. It creates a well around which other smaller objects move, mimicking the gravitational attraction. Practical Applications these limitations don't mean Newtonian mechanics isn't useful. In fact, we use Newton's laws in most practical applications, engineering, predicting planetary motion, or designing vehicles.